The guy you see next to me is the Arab king of cars because he owns 3,000 cars in one plane. My name is Hamad and I love the off-road car. In the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, we saw a museum that looks like a pyramid. And inside of that museum, we saw some of the most unique cars in the world. And all of these cars are owned by one person. This guy, Hamad. He is a retired military man who loves cars. So he spent decades buying, building, and modifying cars. And then he put them under one roof, his museum in Abu Dhabi where you can find the biggest Dodge car in the world. It's so big, it has three bedrooms inside of it, a living room, and a master bedroom. Did you see this? What? It's a bedroom inside a car. What the hell, eh? And yes, if you're wondering, this car can drive on the road. He also built a 6x6 six six Nissan jack-up car. It's the only one, huh? Jack-up car. It's the only one that has a jack-up like this. Yeah, jack-up. It's lifted 100, one meter. What? This is crazy! That he drives in the desert. He built a trailer shaped like planet Earth with nine bedrooms inside of it. He built the smallest rainbow car I've ever seen. The only Nissan car with the same door on all sides. A GMC tire that is so big it can float on water. A Mercedes with 4x4 jumbo wheels. A US military Jeep which he turned into the biggest legally owned 4x4 on the street a real New York yellow taxi, an American police car, and a sheriff car. That's crazy. Why do you care so much about cars? Why? Yes. Am I happy? I, especially the off-road that took me to the, to the nice places, uh, desert and open places and empty places. No people there. And in addition to 3,000 cars, he also has one plane. you love something or your hobby you need to concert trade in it and and make it uh, make the the dream true and what's even more amazing is that here you will not find a single luxury sports car like a ferrari or whatever because hamad does not believe in luxury are you against luxury too I'm not saying I'm against luxury, but I, I mean, uh, this is up to the people. Uh, if they are not bother anybody, yes, why not? Uh, it's okay. This car museum has very simple requirements. One, the car has to be inexpensive. inexpensive. Two, the car has to be unique. And three, the car has to be functional. Which means in every one of these cars, the keys are still inside. You can drive any of them on the road with no problem. You just need to fill them up with petrol and gas. After 50 years of collecting cars, Hamad put them in an impressive museum where he welcomes tourists and shares his passion with them. <laughs> what do you think of the cars? What do you think of the cars here? Oh, crazy. This is crazy. Like, this is so crazy. I mean, there's cars that, that was there like, before I was born. So, like, and yeah. Okay, you're not gonna put me. <laughs> 3,000 cars and one plane later, Hamad has one message. A great car doesn't have to look good or look funky or be expensive. It doesn't have to be giant or small. A good car just has to take you from point A to point B. And on that, we all agree.